Welcome back to The Collective. It's been a long, long time, and uh, I've been working on a lot of things, and I hope to record even more. But uh, I wanted to work on an aeroponics project, which sprayed misters instead of uh, using a low-pressure pump that has high gallons. And I tried to feed it to a system that I'm trying um, recently and it did not work because there's not enough pressure to spray a fine mist. It just kind of bleh, globbed out and leaked out a little bit. Because there's no pressure, it just gave up. You could stick your finger over the pump nozzle and it would just die. So I opted to get a high pressure pump, which is something you find in a vacuum or in a uh, carpet cleaning truck or um, I guess some mobile applications have it in a mobile home where they power the water where you need to get that pressure up to 100 PSI or better to get a nice misting system like Fred Myers uses a nice big one that has like a thousand PSI for their misting system for the vegetables so I came up with a system that has just a, a standard PVC pipe and I've drilled holes and put these little misters in that I got from Stubers and Snohomish and uh, it was kind of hard to find some attachments to it because you have to use that text pipe, that uh, flexible tubing that I will show you in a second. Uh, and I will show you the pump that is going to spray these. And I'm in the middle of drilling the other side. And I will show you where this goes because it's going to be really kind of neat. So uh, hang tight. This is the high pressure pump that I'm using. It's an Aquatech. This is a CDP 8800 and its job using 12 volts I believe it's 24 volts and I hooked it up to a transformer you can get these online and this is the pipes a quick disconnect like you would find in your uh, ice maker and so it's it does I've, I've tried it out and I'll show you in a second but you push it out and it will spray a beautiful fine mist because you want the mist to just the right size or it the droplets will be too big for the roots so with that said I will get back to putting more nozzles in the wand is what I'm calling it and uh, we'll see where it goes so this stuff's pretty neat this is the it looks like you get it from an ice maker or something this tube this is a quarter inch and it's a compression fitting so it fits right into the wand pretty nice and this wand is pretty much complete it sprays on both sides and we will test that out so let's turn on the pump and see if this wand actually works. I'm kind of excited. It takes a second to pressurize. And then once it does, it just sprays this beautiful fine mist everywhere. I kind of like that. I think that'll be plenty enough. Now this thing's only going to fire up for a roughly, you know, maybe 10, 20 seconds max and it will do it every like five minutes and uh, so that's all we need but that spray mist is perfect I think and it will fit really great for the application that I will show you